Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up uh, the Docker containers on Windows servers. And we are going to cover the Windows servers 2019 and Windows servers 2022. So what I have done, I have already spun up uh, the two machines, Windows 2019 server and Windows 2022 server. So uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to sh um, show you the commands and I, what I have done, I've already uh, set up this document for you guys. So if you want to install Docker desktop, so this is the URL, but we are not going to cover this. So um, the easiest way or the right way to set up the Docker installation on Windows Server uh, 2019 and uh, 2022 is that Simply navigate to this document and this is the Windows Servers tab. This is the Windows Admin Center and uh, this is Windows 10 uh, and 11 uh, setup. So uh, we are not going to cover this and uh, I will be showing you uh, this uh, in later series. First of all, we are going to uh, cover um, how to set up. So you simply need to open the PowerShell and uh, with the administrator. So let me show you how you can do that. This is the Windows 2019 server. What I've done, I've already installed this. I mean, these are the three simplest commands. You have to copy paste it. Uh, this is the PowerShell open in uh, administrator um, with the administrative privileges. And uh, once uh, all these three commands, copy this guy and second one, copy this guy, copy this one, second one. Although sometimes you get an error or TLS, you have to copy this one. So it is going to be third one. And in last, you have to simply reboot the machine to updates. Uh, simply, I mean, literally want to update the version of Docker. You can update these commands. So I have already done this because this takes some time and I reboot, rebooted the machine. So if I navigate to the other part of my document, so uh, simply uh, copy this guy and this will navigate to the, uh, navigate you guys to the Docker hub. So this is the Microsoft uh, official uh, images on Docker Hub. You can scroll through. What we are going to cover in this, uh, we are going to simply uh, go for the IIS server, which is the uh, information server, web server by uh, Microsoft. So you can scroll down. Uh, these are the uh, images uh, provided by Microsoft. And um, we are going to cover, let me show you this one let me show you that okay so guys uh, this is the windows ies server simply if you click it you will see uh, it shows the architecture on which architecture it's going to run for instance it is showing um, this part i mean we we are going to simply pull this guy and we can run this because uh, why it is showing these tags? I mean, if you try to run this 2019 server on uh, Windows 2022 uh, servers, it will not work. So underlying architecture depends. So it is just like, I mean, uh, you know, you can build your own server. This is the Docker file. Put your uh, web content here and you can do that. So as I told you that uh, I have spin up two servers. So first of all, let me show you this guy. Um, I use this command for Windows 2019. So you see, this is the architecture, and I try to spin up uh, this simple web server. So if I navigate uh, or copy the IP address of this server, and if I paste it here, you will see uh, that this server is up and running. And let me show you in the PowerShell as well. So this is the Docker PS-A. It has been a while since this uh, is up and running. So Docker PS hyphen A show you the all start and stop container and Docker images. You see this uh, Docker images I've downloaded. So, I mean, it is quite big. It will take time to download this and run this. So I, what I've done to make this video short as possible, I've spin up this. So this is with regard to the 2019. I told you about that if you try to run uh this command for instance on this server it will spit out an error so it will not work 
uh, it has to be the same architecture. So let me close this guy and I'm going to now open this Windows 22 uh, server. So uh, let me navigate to this instance and the IP address of this server is this one. Simply click it and I'm going to simply paste the, uh, I mean, I'm going to connect with this server and then uh, I just want to show you the same stuff which we have done on this server and uh, let me copy the IP address of this server and paste it and I will show you uh, what we have. Let's see. You see, this is the Windows uh, server on Windows 2022 server. So you have to simply copy paste this command. I already told you told you how to build your, uh, I mean, server with the Docker file, and this is how simple it is. I mean, definitely you are. A, I'm not a Windows guy, so you can dig more about it. But how easy it is, and how powerful if you you know build your container images in Docker. So. Um, let me show you the last step in this so guys um, this is the one let me simply screen uh, update the screen size so this is the one running you see this is the architecture so if i run the 2019 or 2016 command it's gonna uh, show us an error let me show you the docker images as well so if i simply stop it and you will see that um, let me stop this guy. Okay, I give this name Windows I I S. So paste it and stop it. Once it's stopped, you you will see that uh, this website will no longer be available. So let me try to refresh it. You see, and this site is uh, not available. So once I restart it, it will be back again. So that's the video guys uh if you like the video please, please like share and subscribe and make sure you build your application in containers and um, i mean it's always going to run effectively and before um, i simply you know stop the video let me show you that so this is the status now docker ps so CLI Docker is pretty much easy. If I and I now try to refresh, you see it is now available. So guys, that's it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.